Hey everyone, welcome to today's update. Today's Tuesday, May 19th. Taking a look at earnings, uh, really yesterday after the close, the only notable name was Baidu. And if we take a look at Baidu, I can see it jumped up after earnings and looked like it was taken off and then opened up huge this morning at the open and has come kind of crashing down late in the day in trading. The other thing before the open today was Walmart. And then a couple other big retailers, Target and Lowe's before the open tomorrow morning. The rest of the week, we've got NVIDIA and John Deere. We've got a position in John Deere. And that is at all. Uh, that's about it as far as the notable names that we would be trading. But let's take a look at what Walmart did and then a look at Target and Lowe's. So Walmart, WMT. So it, after earnings, it opened higher, but then, like I said, like with Baidu, came crashing down later in the day. If we look at Lowe's, L-O-W. So uh, low, so it's tomorrow morning, and you can see pr trading pretty flat today. So I don't have a trade in here. If I had to guess, I, I, would, I think it's probably going to go higher, but did not place a trade. And then lastly, what was the other one? Oh, Target, TGT you know, came down later in the day, but pretty, pretty muted going forward. Again, I think, I think Target's going to trade higher. You know, they're benefiting from a lot of the people being bored shopping, the takeout services they've done a really good job with. So I, I'm looking at Target higher. So what happened in the market today? Well, as I mentioned, a late day kind of a sell-off. Let me go to a five minute chart here first. If we look at five minute chart. You know, the market was was basically up and grinding higher most of the day. And then right here at about 250, the market just sold off, bounced, and then really sold off all the way into the close. The market just closed about seven seven minutes ago. And so there was some there was some news about MRNA. They're the the biotech that came out with some news about their uh, clinical trials, good news on their clinical trials yesterday for the coronavirus vaccine and opened up decent and then just kind of sold off all day. And then late in the day, somebody released a paper, you know, with some kind of bad news and it sold off and then bounced a little bit, sold off again. So, you know, I'm not sure if that's completely what's driving the rest of the market, but Regardless, we did get a decent sell-off. S&P's down 30, Dow down 365, NASDAQ down 26, Russell leading the way down, down 27. If you look at some of the commodities here, bonds up about a half percent, Natty Gas up over 2%, pretty mixed bag as far as stocks go. We've got you know, Apple down a little bit, Amazon up a little bit. Boeing down another three and a half percent. Can't get it, can't get out of its own way. Beyond Meat up four point seven five. And we're still looking at a uh, let's look at a daily chart. Pretty decent move in Beyond. Banks got hit late in the day hard. I don't know if there was some news with the that the Fed came out with, but banks got hit hard. Tech holding holding their own. Facebook up. Google down a little bit. Intel up. So. Pretty, like I said, a pretty mixed bag as far as stocks go. If we look at a chart of the S&P, you know, we're still trading in this super tight range here. You know, it looked like we were going to kind of break out here and head higher. And then this late day sell-off kind of took us back down. Now, what I'm interested to see is how this late day sell-off is going to react tomorrow. Are we going to have a big gap down? Or is it going to be business as usual and back higher? We'll see what happens. But so, what did we do today? Well, we uh, we added a position in wheat to our current wheat position, and we added a new iron duck in SPY. So we've got a huge buffer to the downside where we can make some profit with no risk to the upside. We'll make a little bit of profit if it goes higher. So awesome strategy for this environment. Everybody have a great evening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.